My name is Linda Petrie Bunch, and I'm an author, and this is my dog, Hannah. And Hannah is a Bernese Mountain Dog. Can you say that? It's a big word. It's Bernese Mountain Dog. And because it's such a long word phrase to say, we, they have nicknames that are... And the nicknames for these dogs are Burners. So can you call, say Burner? Burner. Very good. Now, Bernie's Mountain Dogs are from Bern, Switzerland, and they like to do things like animal rescue, and they like to um, pull out carts, and they like to be petted by children. Um, so they're working class dogs, just like St. Bernard's and um, Great Pyrenees and Newfoundlands. They're all in the same working class kind of um, dog breed area. So I'm going to, when Hannah was small, which was only a year ago, she was about as big as this little stuffed animal. And that's when we took the pictures for this book. So I'm going to pass around a little um, Bernie's Mountain Dog and you guys can share it while we're reading. Now you'll see from the sticker that part of the proceeds of this book, I know she's very distracting, isn't she? <laughs> Part of the proceeds of this book. Hannah, sit. 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 Now, part of the proceeds of this book go to the Boys and Girls Club. So, when every book that's sold, a little bit of money comes to you guys. So, who does that benefit? Uh, I'll say the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Now, does anybody here have a dog? Oh yeah, what kind of dog do you have? Do you have a, what kind of you have? a Rottweiler and you have a? Oslo, Oslo and a Mexican one. Oh, okay, and you? A Chihuahua, Oh. Does anybody here like to play in the snow? Oh, everybody likes to play in the snow, okay. Even my dog is named Chihuahua. Oh, okay, and what do you like to do in the snow? Yeah. I like to make snow and snow angels. Yeah. Okay, like snowmen and snow angels. Snowball fights. Yeah. Oh, me too. I like to um, throw the snow in the air and push people in the snow. You like to push people in the snow. What do you like to do? I like to have a snowball fight. Oh, you do? Okay, and you like to? Snowball fight. Snowball fight. Does anyone like to go sledding? Oh, no. Oh. I don't know. 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 Well, these are all things that Hannah likes to do also. So let's, let's look at this book, and it's called A Snow Day for Hannah because these dogs really love to play in the snow. Huh? All right. Is that, is that your dog? This is my dog, and I took all the photographs in this book, and then I became an author because I made a story to go with it. Does anyone here like to write stories? Okay, so if I can be an author, probably one day you could be an author too. So I would encourage you all to practice your writing skills. Hannah the Mountain Dog was a cute little pup. Do you think she's cute? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you. Okay, so it's a rhyming story too, so you might be able to help me finish the rhymes. Hannah the Mountain Dog was a cute little pup. With passion and courage, she liked to climb uh, up. up. Good. To the top of the hill where the view was real keen of the valley below. What a beautiful scene. From up on her perch, she saw clouds come together. What happens when clouds come together? Yeah, something might happen with the weather, right? Hannah climbed down with care to escape from the weather. Good. Does it look like it's going to rain? Yeah. Uh, is it going to rain? No. No. It's, snow. it's a really dark cloud, isn't it? As she headed for home, she could feel the storm coming. With her fine sense of smell, her sight, and her cunning. Now, cunning's kind of a big word. Does anybody have any idea what cunning means? You might want to give a guess. Dog. Cunning is kind of like a fox. It's clever and tricky, and they um, you're, you use all your senses so that um, you have a you have so, so that you have cunning to figure things out. Oh, something funny about this picture. Ears. Yeah. Her ears are sticking straight out, aren't they? <laughs> the wind picked up fast, blew her ears in the air, and it caused her to shiver and tussled her hair. Yeah. 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 Good. Hannah hightailed at home as the snow hurtled down. It fell fast and hard and whirled all around. around. Good. You guys are really good at this. Uh, she ran in the house and up onto a chair and watched out the window, feeling warm and aware. 
Of the snowdrifts and sun, Hannah knew would soon come because snowstorms brought snowmen, sledding, and fun. Do you guys ever sit and watch the snowfall like this? Maybe you get a little hot chocolate and a cookie, some marshmallows. Oh my goodness. When the storm was over and the clouds went away, yippee, Hannah yelped as she flew out to play. Play, right. Did the dog can jump in, right? She can jump pretty high, can't she? She licked the cold snow, cool and wet on her tongue. The puppy dug in her paws. She was ready for it. Does that snow look real powdery? Yeah. Only in Colorado, right? Would you know that kind of powdery snow? Yeah. Do you think a dog can go sledding? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No idea. Some people think yes, some no. You've heard of sled dogs, though, right? Yeah. Full sleds. She jumped on the sled, snow slippery and slick. Hannah raced down a run at a very fast clip. She rolled up a snowman, three snowballs in height, with a nose and two eyes and a big mouth to... Bye. Oh, yeah. Now, <coughs> did you notice anything funny about the snowman that she made? A yeah. I didn't have that dog toy. It's got biscuits for eyes. The little hat has dog prints on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Puppy asked her new friend to go for a walk, but her friend wouldn't move, and her friend wouldn't talk. Do you guys know any snowman that can walk and talk? Frosty. Frosty, that's right. <laughs> Do you think a little dog should be walking alone by himself down the road? No. Hannah started to roam once the roads had been plowed. The air smells so clean, she barked right out loud. At the end of the road was a great hiking trail. Hannah ran through the woods, waving her. Oh, that's right. The pine tree aroma filled up her nose. The frosty new snow crunched under her nose. Toes. Toes, yes. The dogs have toes. Look at this picture. Hannah dug in a drift, leaned her arms wide apart, and Angel appeared with a small puppy. She heard a loud whistle at the top of the hill. Time to go home against Hannah's Do you guys ever hide behind a snowdrift like this? Yes. Yeah. Maybe throw a snowball at your sister or brother? Yeah. She cried for a moment and held, I am coming. She headed for home, skipping and running. Running, that's right. I don't want to go home. Have you ever heard a dog howl? Oh. When Hannah was home, what a wonderful sight. She jumped into bed and said, Nighty night. Nighty night. Is this like a little Swiss cradle that she's in? That's her bed. Does she have it? She doesn't fit it in anymore, does she? No. Do you still have it? I do. Now, is there something funny about this picture? No. It's her fanny. It's her fanny. It's her fanny.